All right, so this is never seen before video footage. This is actually the very first time I am writing my O-Dub, AKA One Wheel. So I just pushed on the on button, stepping onto the One Wheel for the first time, kind of checking, make sure it's on, make sure that blue light is, is glowing and then I get up and I feel like I'm in a rodeo right here. Whoa, hey, hey, ho, ho, hey. <laughs> and I am off the one wheel. So I was on it for maybe a couple of seconds um, and then I was off. And then here goes the second time. Say, so, okay, I think I got it and, and kind of get my balance, feel pretty good. Right here, I just kind of really want to focus on stopping. So I, I, I lift up the heel that stops it, get back on it. I really want to practice on jumping off. I got the old man jump right there. Watching the video, I was like, oh my gosh, I look like an old man jumping. So here, I'm just really focusing on just getting off the, the one wheel with no problem because that's the most important thing is how to get off. And you can see I'm struggling with my balance here. Um, and then again, old man jump, get off. So I'm like, okay, I got the old man jump down. Now I'm ready to, uh, advance a little bit more get back up and kind of going back and forth just working on the balance I did some research on YouTube and there's a guy named Jimmy Chang and he was talking about going back and forth and just really working on your balance and so that's what I'm doing here just working on my balance then I raised the heel again and stopped and so I gave a thumbs up saying hey okay now I'm ready to take it to the next level and just ride around now I'm riding goofy here and goofy means you're riding with your right foot forward and I'm not goofy. Well, sometimes I can be goofy and I look goofy, but I don't ride goofy. When I ride my snowboard, I ride my snowboard regular, which means you have your left foot forward. And so I am riding goofy here and I don't realize that I'm riding goofy. And so I am just cruising a little bit. Um, and we're two minutes into um, learning how to ride the one wheel and and I picked it up pretty good and again the reason why I'm able to pick it up is just because of the experience I have of snowboarding and I am out of the frame uh, not <laughs> aware that the drone is not picking me up and uh, so and right here I think I'm doing 360s and, and uh, 720s and then I'm back here and then I'm going to try to make a little turn right here, a quick turn, and then kind of lose my balance here, and then I'm going to kind of stop. And when I first started to try to stop, I kind of struggled with stopping. So now I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to pull back the drone. I'm turning off my GoPro. Uh, I'm going to pull back the drone to get a better uh, view of the pole parking lot so that way you can see my mad skills. Okay, so right now we're three minutes, we're about three minutes into riding the one wheel. And if you have any type of snowboarding experience, I've been snowboarding for about 10 years, um, you can pick it up really quickly. And so now I'm still riding Goofy, which is funny um, watching me ride Goofy because I don't ride Goofy when I snowboard. So I'm cruising, uh, riding Goofy and just going out, venturing out, uh, and just making sure I can control the one wheel. I can turn right and left. And so just getting used to turning, getting a little speed there and then slowing it down. Just really want to respect the board. At this point, I'm realizing that I'm riding with my right foot forward as I look down. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's goofy. And I don't ride goofy. I'm supposed to be riding with my left foot for it, like I'm doing here. And then I decide to stop, uh, kind of get out of the frame. I had to kind of jump off here, still struggling with how to stop correctly. But jumping off with both feet is one correct way to do it, uh, more of a beginner's way to do it. But it's important that you do it correctly. And so right here, um, I'm messing with the board and I pick up the board and I realize, okay, this whole time I've been riding goofy with my right foot forward, 
let me put my left foot forward and as you can see I'm putting my right foot on the back of the board and then I'm gonna lead with my left foot and that means you're riding regular and that's how I normally ride whenever I ride my snowboard I feel more comfortable riding regular with my left foot forward so I pop up and now I'm riding regular and this is the first time I'm riding regular. I tried to make a quick turn here and so I had to kind of jump off. So I'm about to get back on the board and make sure I have my right foot in the back and my left foot forward so that way I'm riding regular. I'm going to try to make this really quick turn here and as I do so I go completely out of the shot not aware where the drone is taping me but you can see my shadow making this right turn here and right here this is the very first time I'm riding the board regular with my left foot forward and I feel very very comfortable riding it I feel like I'm on a snowboard and again if you have any type of boarding experience you're going to be able to pick up the one wheel really quickly I'm five minutes into riding and, and I feel really comfortable with my turning, being able to turn right and left and, and control the board. I kind of struggle with stopping, uh, or, yeah, stopping correctly. I have to jump off sometimes, but as long as you get off safely, that's the most important thing. And if you ever jump off, you want to always jump off with both of your feet. You don't want to leave one foot on because if you do, then it's going to cause the board to continue to go you have one foot on and the other foot off and you're going to do the splits which is not good to do unless you're very flexible so you can see i'm just kind of cruising here just getting a feel of it i'm thinking to myself wow i, I think i got this i kind of struggle there uh with my balance there but again right here i'm trying to stop and struggling with coming to a stop and then i'm trying to lift up and i can't lift up the heel and so i just jump off so long as you jump off with both feet you're good now after I get back on I really start feeling like I'm ready to leave this parking lot um, I'm ready to venture out and get on a, a bike path or um, some type of pavement trail and uh, just go for a ride and so that's what I end up doing I think this is just kind of wrapping up heading back to a car just feeling kind of comfortable um, going back and forth making sure I feel comfortable turning the one wheel um, but that's a wrap guys I mean less than 10 minutes um, I'm ready to go I'm ready to ride it and I'm ready to get out of this parking lot and, and that's it um, less than 10 minutes I was able to get the basics down and now I feel really comfortable going on a bike path and riding on a bike path and doing some carving on a bike path. Peace.